Hello, my name is Jožek and in this tutorial series I'll show you how to make a combat system using Finite State Machine and the new input system from Unity. In the second part we will see how to instantiate your weapon, how to use animation events and how to use an avatar mask. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing so you don't miss the next part. In the last part we have set up the animations, but of course the weapon is missing. I'm using the SWORD model from the Melee Royal Animations pack, which you can find on the Unity Asset Store, and it's free. Now the idea is that we go down in the player model rig to the hand bone and instantiate the weapon at that hand position. Make sure that you found the correct hand. In this case it's the right hand. When you have found the right hand slot, drag and drop the weapon prefab to the hand slot. We change the position and rotation of the sword model until it fits in the hand. When you found good values, go to the transform option and copy the component. Now create a new empty game object and call it weapon holder. And paste the component values. Drag the sword model into it. Next we have to find the correct position if the player unequips the weapon. For that we use a little trick. We pause the game at that point where the player sheet animation is finished. We find now the correct position for the sheet slot. Under the root bone here called hips we create a new empty game object and call it sheet holder. Here we can again change the position and rotation of the object to find the correct positioning of the sword. Again, if you found the right position, copy the values from the transform component and paste them into the sheet holder game object. Don't forget that you have to leave the play mode first. You can check the position by drag and drop the weapon prefab into the sheet holder slot. In the last step we want to instantiate this world by code, for that we need to create an equipment system script. In this script we have one reference to the weapon slot, one to the sheet slot and one to the weapon prefab. When we start the script we instantiate the weapon in the sheet slot. When the draw weapon method is called we instantiate the weapon in the weapon slot and delete the weapon in the sheet slot. When the sheet weapon method is called we do exactly the opposite. A reference to the current active weapon is held in the current weapon in hand or in sheet game object. Now we just drag and drop the weapon slot, the weapon prefab and the sheet slot into the script slot. Currently we are not calling the draw weapon or sheet weapon methods. We will be doing this with animation events. Animation events are actually really simple. We just go to our animation. Here is the player draw to animation. Then on the first keyframe we go down to events. Then under events we create a new event and as function we write down the name of our function we want to call. In this case it's the draw weapon method. Don't forget to click apply. Next we go to the player sheet 2 animation, down to events, create a new event and we are calling the function sheet weapon. Click apply. Now we can already equip and unequip our weapon. Awesome. However, when we equip the weapon while we are moving it looks really weird because the legs are not moving. We can fix this with an avatar mask. First we have to create a new layer, we are calling it the arms layer and we set the weight to 1. We create an avatar mask 
go to humanoid and uncheck everything. We only check the IK points for the hands, left and right, the hands and the arms. Don't forget to set the mask in the arms layer. We are creating an empty state, calling it default state and drag and dropping the same draw and sheet animations than in the combat layer. We are making transition between the animation states and we are creating a second empty state called combat state. Now we want to play these animations only when the player is moving. So we have to set the speed greater than 0.01 and of course only when the draw weapon trigger is triggered. And we unequip the weapon again when the speed is greater than 0.01 and the sheet weapon trigger is triggered. The empty states never have an exit time, so we uncheck it, whereas the draw weapon and sheet weapon animations have an exit time and we want them to play full, so the transition duration is zero. You see that we have a similar structure than in the combat layer. By the way, the speed condition must be greater than 0.01 and not only 0 because when we are moving we see that because of the uh, smoothening there's always a value greater than 0 for the speed. Even if it's a really really small value it's still greater than 0 so the condition won't be true for gr greater than 0. In the combat layer we then trigger the animation only when the speed is less than 0.01. However, it's still possible to let's say draw the weapon while we are moving but then unequipping the weapon when we are standing still. So we need direct transition from the default state to the combat state and the opposite. You can uncheck the has exit time because there's actually no uh, animation in these default states. The same is true for the arms layer. We have to make sure that direct transition are always the opposite of the transition where the uh, animations are played. There are a lot of different conditions so I'm showing here again an overview of them. Now here's the final product. We can draw the sword, unequip it, we can move in and while we are moving we are drawing the sword and we see now there is no sliding on the ground so the uh, legs are moving normally, the walking animation is played and we can unequip or grip the weapon without any problem. Alright, that's the end of the second part. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, feel free to ask them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the third part. See you in the next video.